Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more content at Bailey and Stewart. Today's video is an Alphalete review of their new Aura collection. These pieces are dropping literally this Saturday. I know it's very short for getting this review up. 12 p.m. CST, 1 p.m. EST. I will have all the other time zones right here so you don't miss out. My code should still work this launch. Um, it does help support me and let Alphalete know that you guys are coming from my video and that they're helpful. It does also save you 10% off, so you have to use my code. Make sure to screenshot so I can personally say thank you and enter you into January's giveaway link to enter which is a google doc form down below as well and i cannot say thank you enough for all the support you guys have continuously shown me with alphalete and buff bunny and lazuli one up it truly means so much and i've been with alphalete for over two years now and i love the brand and obviously i wouldn't have gotten the opportunity to even work with them if it wasn't for y'all so i truly cannot say thank you enough Let's just get on into the review. Aura is dropping. There's no Amplify, it's just Aura pieces, and then some men's pieces, and some sweats, and hoodies, and jackets. But there is the birthday sale in February, which is next month. Contour will be dropping with that. Uh, so keep in mind, if there's anything in this launch that you really wanna wait, it will be on sale, but I also wanna keep in mind that the aura especially the flares shrugs and some of the minimal bras do go quite fast um so if there's something you really really want and would be sad about it selling out i would say snag it during the drop because i am not sure if some of these pieces will still be in stock for the sale and nine times out of ten they don't restock stock for a sale so keep that in mind um, i would definitely make a list of like your must-haves and things that you wouldn't be you'd be okay with selling out and not getting pop on a screen all of the pieces that are dropping for the men in case there are any men watching this that use my code that want some new fire fits these are everything dropping could bailey kika what is this cat doing? What are you doing, Kika? <gasps> Coral. So this is every color for the women's pieces that are dropping, at least in the Aura. So we have the Aura Glacier print, currently wearing that, the Aura Blizzard print, and then the Aura Storm print, white, smoke, sunset, arctic sky, oak, black fire, and black. So those are all of the colors dropping in the aura collection obviously certain pieces won't have certain colors we'll start with the flares so there's two flares there's the tall which is 33 same for the regular in an extra extra small uh, through medium is 31. if you get a larger extra extra large the inseam is in 32 and a half and then for the tall the extra extra small through medium is 33 and then the large through extra extra large is 34 inseam there is also um, certain colors that come in regular but not in tall. So for the regular, we have the Aura Blizzard print, the Smoke, Glacial Lake, Oak, and Black. And then for the tall, we have Smoke, Glacial Lake, Arctic Sky, Oak, and Black. So we basically didn't get, hi Kika, <laughs> we basically didn't get the Blizzard print in the tall. I did still snag it, but in regular to compare my extra extra small regular, my extra extra small tall. Sculpting seam lines, buttery soft hand, feel high stretch, and then flared leg. So if you've watched any of my other ones, you guys know that the Aura is very, very stretchy. It has little to no compression. So I size down to extra extra small in all of the bottoms and it definitely made a difference and I know a lot of you guys did as well and it helped. I feel like an extra small, they were just sliding down a lot and I like a tight fit, I know this. I personally like a snug fit. I do not like to be able to have, I don't like having a lot of bunching in the crotch having a ton of extra fabric. And I feel like in an extra small in the Aura, I was having that issue. They were sliding down. They did nothing for my glutes. And when I sized down to an extra, extra small, it made all the difference. Like I really like the flares now. They still slide down a little bit when working out in, like especially the leggings. So for that, I don't really wear these to the gym. 
I also just don't feel super confident in them with the butt because of the high glute seam. So I guess we'll just start with this, the Oak Flare. This is a really nice warm brown. And if you have Buff Bunny Cocoa, my Discord girls know. Also, I believe I posted the comparison on Instagram as well. This is almost a perfect match. So your Buff Bunny bras will pair perfectly if you get the Aura bras in oak, it'll pair perfectly with your Coco leggings. So I really, really like that. So if you like the Coco from Buff Bunny, you'll love this one. Now, what I was talking about is I don't personally find Aura flattering on the glutes. And again, it all comes down to one personal preference. And two, um, I feel like your glute height and your torso height. So I have a short torso and I do have short glutes. Uh, so this back seam just comes up way too high. I did measure, and again, I'll pop in a picture right here. It is from the bottom of the gusset to the top of the waistband, 10 and a half inches total, which is quite long. And the top seam right here, like where it's supposed to like sculpt and shape the glutes goes way past my glutes. Like it comes all the way up here. My glutes kind of stop like right here. Again, I have short glutes. Um, so it just ends up making my glutes look quite small. Like I just don't feel, like I feel, I don't feel confident in these, at least backside wise. They are very comfy though. I run errands in my flares. I go on my hot girl walks in my flares. I really, really like them. Yes, they're not going to be super flattering compared to like scrunch, but I definitely wear my flares so much. I don't wear my leggings or shorts in the aura as much, being completely honest. I just love flares because I do feel like they make me look curvier. So while my glutes might not look that good, at least I feel like flares give you the illusion of having like more of a front, like from the front an hourglass figure. So I just gravitate to the flares out of all of the bottoms in Aura. That's what I would spend my own personal money on. Now, again, it comes down to personal preference. I know so many people who do love the Aura leggings. I just personally would rather grab my Buff Bunny Curve because Aura is, if you have any Buff Bunny butter or Nubri, the Aura material is very, oh my God. I'm closing my okay so this is sunrise i close my eyes it feels identical to the buff bunny butter but i feel like the ore is a little bit thicker than the buff bunny butter but for reference if you've only ever tried buff bunny that is what the material of the aura feels most similar to it's not sweat wicking i just prefer the buff bunny butter sorry buff bunny curve there's an ambulance because the seams right here are much lower and again i have shorter glutes so this fit and rise works much better for me personally uh, i just feel like it's more flattering on the glutes so this is what i gravitate more towards i actually work out in these whereas i just personally don't gravitate to the leggings as much okay, so here's the measurement of the extra extra small leggings from bottom of gusset all the way to the top of the waistband so it's roughly 10.5 inches the front is slightly shorter so from gusset to this seam right here is five and a half so that's how much like crotch space fabric that you have and then from gusset all the way to the top is not roughly nine a little bit shorter uh so it is shorter in the front and then in the back on the waistband. The inseam of my extra extra small tall Aura flares. So it's at 33. I also got extra extra small regular in the blizzard because that didn't come in a tall option. So I'll measure that next. Inseam for the extra extra small regular are 31. So you get two extra inches in the tall. Buff Bunny flares. Um, I do feel like, honestly, now that I've sized down, I do prefer the Aura flares over Buff Bunny Foxy flares because, um, honestly, the height is quite similar to the Buff Bunny flares because it's that legacy design, so it is higher and the glute seam goes higher up. It has that Monarch three butterfly seam back, but it's also more compressive, so it does kind of like pancake my glutes in the Foxy flares, whereas this is thinner, so it doesn't do that as much. Um, the Buff Bunny flares do have more of a flare bottom, 
than the Aura. The Aura is, went on, looks a little bit more straight leg than Flare. So I guess it all comes down to personal preference. The Buff Bunny one, again, does have more compression. But I just feel like these are very, very comfy. I love the little side seam right here. You'll see on the try-on when it just kind of gives the illusion of your glutes kind of like popping out a little bit more. I feel like it shapes really nicely. I just really wish we had, like this was shortened. I feel like it's just too long or at least given an option because right now we have Amplify and we have Aura from Alphalete. That's literally all we have. So I feel like we definitely need another legging that has a shorter seam for the girlies that have shorter glutes and shorter torsos uh, because these again, just really don't flatter the glutes for me at all. The waistband is just double lined fabric. And then it's got the two seams right here to kind of give the illusion of your waist tapering in. Low tummy control though. I would say tummy control is probably equal to my buff bunny curve. Uh, just double line fabric. Sizing down does help me feel a little bit more snatched and the like waistband to stay put. I feel like if you stick to your normal size in the Aura, they're probably going to slide down. You're not going to have much compression. We'll do color comparisons. Here is Oak Aura Buff Bunny Cocoa. So again, literally identical. Chai to Oak. Sand Aura Porcelain to Oak cashmere to oak super cute combo cashmere but in the amplify chocolate then sangria to mocha buff bunny journey dark brown buff bunny mocha rich brown oak flares in extra extra small tall I really like this color and I think as a set, like it's just so pretty. It's a nice warm tone brown. And again, we'll do a side by side comparison because regular versus tall. So as you can see, I feel like this just hits me a little bit better or at least how I like, I like for it to like cover my foot. Whereas I feel like it didn't, especially in sneakers in the regular, I'm 5'4 for reference. I feel like even though I did size down, I still slightly have to keep pulling it up, but not as bad as in my extra small. Uh, yeah, those would kind of like irk my nerves because I would consistently have to keep pulling these up. Leggings when I work out in them, again, I don't really like to, but I showed sweat. It was sheer and I kept having to pull up the waistband because again, this material just doesn't have much compression. It, w it does stay put in better than my extra small, so sizing down can help keep the waistband staying put. I just feel like this material and compression level just isn't ideal for super intense workouts. And again, the flares for me, I wear for my hot girl walks, running errands, definitely more a lounge piece. Um, all of the leggings flare shorts from gusset to top of waistband is 10 and a half. So definitely high rise goes way, not way past, but goes past my belly button. Like my belly button's right here. And I have probably like eh, a whole inch above my belly button. Long torso friendly. Again, we've got the seams right here to kind of give the illusion of a smaller waist of it kind of tapering in. It's just double lined fabric. So again, very low tummy control. And then we've got the glute contour seam right here that kind of like curves out. I've got the Buff Bunny sticker in. Um, I feel like this color is pretty squat proof. So if you get the leggings to work out in or the shorts, I think you'd definitely be safe for a leg day. So length in the extra extra small tall versus the extra small regular these just kind of cover my whole foot and hit the ground which i do like i that's just how i personally like my flares to fit because that way when i have sneakers on they don't look too short the extra small sorry extra, extra small regular they hit right at my foot so they do come to a good length but then once i put a sneaker on they just kind of like go higher up on the shoe and i just don't like that look um and if you're taller than f like i'm 5'4 so if you're taller than 5'4 these are going to be way too short the tall option 
for someone really tall still might not be that long being completely honest so here are all of the waistbands so i feel like the arctic sky and glacier lake look a little bit smaller in the waistband but not much probably once you wear it it'll probably stretch out and then length these are all extra small tall and i feel like for the most part they're pretty consistent maybe oak is a little bit shorter like arctic sky i guess is the longest and then smoke looks to be a little bit shorter and then we have a print in the flare this is the blizzard print in extra extra small regular and again we'll do side by side comparisons of the tall and regular so you can see i'm 5'4 so fit in the regular and tall besides is basically the same really the only difference again is the length like the waistbands match up so blizzard print is like this dark purple that fades into an even darker shade almost like black and i feel like the print obviously is going to vary per piece just the way it's kind of made and i feel like i don't know i really wanted to like it but i feel like it's weird having like one leg be almost dark and then one light especially with like the butt cheek issue like i have a gluten balance so last thing i want to do is further enhance that imbalance because lighter colors are gonna make the glutes look bigger whereas darker colors are gonna kind of slim it so one butt cheek's gonna be slim then one's gonna be it's probably not that noticeable but i don't know i just don't know how i feel about it i definitely prefer the blue print the glacier print over the blizzard print the blizzard do not come in a tall option only regular and it looks fine like it looks fine standing here but when i put sneakers on it just hits me a little bit higher up than i personally would like but again it comes down to preference i think if you're five four five three or under definitely go with regular if you're taller get the tall option uh, again aura has like no compression so even sizing down to an extra extra small i don't feel too snug the material in the printed ones like the glacier and blizzard feel a little bit stiffer almost like the surface material versus how soft the solid aura is like i feel like there's only it's noticeable but it's only slightly noticeable like i feel like you have to be sitting here like feeling to compare to really notice but i just feel like this isn't as like buttery soft as a solid print I really wish they would lower it slightly or at least come out with a legging that did have a lower seam option because for the girlies that have like sh shorter glutes and shorter torso that seam comes way past the glutes and honestly just kind of like flattens it because it just i don't know i just don't find these crazy flattering but they are really comfy and i like to run errands in them do my hot girl walks i just for working out i gravitate more to my amplify then we have glacial lake in the extra extra small tall flares so this color is a little bit more green and lighter than the ink that dropped it's definitely honestly it's probably my least favorite color it's a pretty bluish green don't get me wrong but i feel like the other colors are more different than what we've gotten so i would just personally snag those because i feel like i have so many leggings and shorts that look like this like greenish blue this is the flare this will also this color will also be coming in the leggings and both the shorts and double end fabric at the waistband with the seams right here in the back but again is a really high rise high seam situation happenings for me they're just not as flattering as a lower seam one would be but it's got the glute curve seams on both sides kind of like the lululemon gusset where it's two seams going all the way throughout okay so here is glacier lake tall flares so again a dark greenish blue these are the tall sticker in yeah i feel like these are pretty squat proof like you'll be fine it 
it's a really pretty purple that in certain light almost kind of looks blue but i just feel like it's quite different from see on on camera i feel like it looks completely different wow because in this lighting right here it looks like a vibrant purple but i feel like on camera it's giving like vibrant blue honestly on camera it's looking like the willy wonka blue like when she turned into like a blueberry <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite colors again this will come in the tall and regular and then the back this curved seam it goes all the way down to the leg color comparisons now of the arctic sky are okay so here's true indigo this would be a cute color combo electric purple aster buff bunny lotus buff bunny party purple buff bunny eggplant vanity h2o blue rainwater this would be a super cute combo if you have any buff bunny tops in rainwater with the um arctic sky <laughs> This smoke and sunrise are definitely my favorite colors. Again, fit feels the same. These are the tall option. So they hit exactly where I like my flares to hit. My whole foot's covered, which I really like. So I've got the Buff Bunny sticker in. And I feel like you really can't see it. It's right there. So I feel like if you get the leggings or shirt shorts and want to work out in these, you can still work out in flares too. I feel like you'd be fine. The last tall flare I got was smoke and <clears throat> I love this gray it's most similar to thundercloud medium gray and amplify so it is a lighter shade not as light as like silver sky but not dark like pewter I just feel like it, a light gray is just a staple so I feel like this is probably my number one color because I know I will wear it so much I can pair it with so much it's a basic gray uh so i really really like this color i feel like all of my extra small talls fit the same we'll do smoke color comparisons this is the new aura smoke to the aura pewter smoke to skyscraper smoke to the amplify pewter and then this is titanium medium gray Thundercloud. This is Utility Gray. Silver Sky. Yeah, I feel like even smoke is pretty squat proof. The main color you're going to have to worry about is Sunrise. You guys see me? Okay, you can kind of see me. Again, I'm 5'4". These are where they hit me for reference. So the makeup of the Aura fabric is 75% nylon, 25% elastane, and then the butter is 81% nylon and 19% elastane. It's that the prints don't feel as soft. It's still soft, but I feel like it's the slightest bit stiffer feeling, almost like the Alphalete surface material, like that surface print. That's what the prints feel like more so than the solids. I feel like the solids are definitely softer. Next we will move into leggings. We got two. We'll start with Sunrise, which is this beautiful orange. It's almost like I've most similar in my opinion to the is it the top or part of the Alphalete Ombre Day Tripper. The really light orange. That's the color it most reminds me of. Uh, it, this color is definitely going to be sheer. Um, it did not pass the sticker test. I'd, I feel like nude underwear you'd be okay. Obviously, if you're wearing a print, if you have a tattoo, you will see it in this color. Sizing up might help, but I don't, I feel like even if you size up, it's still, you're still probably going to see like a tattoo or black underwear, print underwear, pink underwear. It's just like a thinner material. Like it definitely, the leggings definitely feel thinner than the flares. 
and I got an extra extra small in the leggings because again I just feel like it's just not enough compression for me in the extra small and the waistband just slides. I will say even during my workout in the extra extra small, it did kind of slide down a little bit, not sweat wicking. I didn't feel super confident in these. Like even though it's a bright color, I just still feel like this does nothing for my glutes. Yeah. So again, it's high rise. They come past my belly button. My belly button usually hits right here. Just double line fabric. The waistband is the exact same. And so is the gusset to top a waistband height as the flares. It has the glute seams on this as well. And then it has a silicone logo on the leg. Where'd it go? There we go. So very minimal. Okay, here is Sunset, and I've got the Buff Bunny sticker in there. Again, I just don't feel like the, I don't feel like these are flattering on the glutes at all, at least for me, because again, I have shorter glutes, and so this seam comes up so high and goes way past my glutes, which I just feel like they pancake it. Um, this color is sheer. I just feel like I prefer leggings that have a shorter seam like here. They just personally flatter my body more. But again, everyone's body's different. People who have longer torso, longer glutes probably will prefer this because it won't be like chopping their glutes in half. Again, these are an extra extra small and they're still very stretchy. Again, Aura doesn't have much compression so you can size down. Uh, again, material is very, very soft. The solid colors are softer than the print. It's got these two seams right here to kind of give the illusion of snatching your waist. They're just like curved seams right here. No front seam than other gussets, like the little where it's like just a seam right here. And then oval, it's two seams all the way through. I really, really like this color. I think it reminds me of um, the top of the ombre, not strawberry, the light, the day tripper. Yeah the very top of that. Like that's probably what it's most similar to. Then we have this curve seam right here. So the curve kind of goes down like that detail. I think it helps make these a little bit more flattering. For 28 inseam, uh, when I measured, at least for the extra extra small, these were like 27, but maybe in a bigger size, they would have been 28. Sunrise to Strawberry Ombre. I, dang, I can't remember the name of this one. I always call it Cheeto Finger, <laughs> but, and then we have Day Tripper. So I feel like this one is most similar to it. And then we have Cheeky Coral Amplify. I don't know why I grabbed this. Chestnut pulse tank. A sun kissed pulse leggings. And then the cheeky coral trace jacket. And then we have the glacier print, which I'm wearing right now. As you can see again, one leg is darker than the other. I do think it's cool. It's giving like mermaid. But I just, I don't know. I feel like, it, I wish it was a little bit I don't know, print. I definitely prefer this though over the blizzard. Cause see how it's like one butt cheeks <laughs> just light and then one's dark. Like I just kind of wish both butt cheeks were light. That way it really made it pop. But again, I feel like I still have to like pull the waistband up when working out in. Like it still slides. There's literally like no compression in these at all. Uh, still very stretchy and this is an extra, extra small. And look at all of that fabric that I can still grab. So again, this is just not gonna be a very compressive legging. I'm 5'4", these come all the way down. And again, they're quite stretchy so you can make them taller if you need to or longer just by pulling them. Sticker is in. Right there. Again, when I squat and bend, even when sizing down, I still have to kind of 
keep pulling these up, readjust. Not as bad as in like the extra small or if I were to do a small, but it's still like just this fabric does not stay put. Look, here's what they look like. So it's got lighter, and again, it, it probably varies per piece, but mine kind of like has this one panel with this, the light bluish green. And again, it fades into like a darker green. And then again, one leg kind of like fades into a lighter color, whereas one fades into a dark lighter. And then in the back, as you can see, one butt cheek is lighter than the other. I like, I like that we finally have some prints. I do think it is a cool print. I just feel like the placement is a little bit weird. Maybe I'm just being overdramatic. Again, material doesn't feel as soft as like the solids um, and the prints, but fit feels the same. Feels exactly the same as my other extra extra small or leggings. We now have two short lengths. So we have a five inch inch, which we had last or a drop. And now we finally have some bikers. We have a nine inch short, which to be honest, I kind of wish was 7.5. I feel like nine is quite long. Add, you can definitely like pull it up a little bit, but I just feel like I would have preferred a 7.5. Didn't get any of the five inch cause I just don't <clears throat> like them. Don't ever wear them. So I do, I will pop in a photo of my five inch compared to the nine though. So you can see the difference. Uh, I did not get any more of the new colors though because I just don't like them. They roll, they're not flattering. They don't do anything for my glutes. The bikers are more flattering, but they're still not as flattering as like my Amplify bikers. So it'll be coming in the Blizzard, Smoke, Glacial Lake, Oak, and Black. Same waistband, gusset height, 10 and a half. The only difference again is that it is nine inseam and these are an extra extra small and the inseam was like eight, eight and a half. So not exactly nine, but I'm sure in an extra small and up, it's probably nine. Again, even in an extra extra small, I still had tons of room. I didn't feel like it was too tight because again, this material is very, very stretchy. I still think my Amplify bikers are 10 times more flattering. If you're a biker gal and like non-scrunch and like the Aura Rise, I do think you will like these. I'm glad we finally have some inseam options. Okay, so here's a comparison of the five inch shorts versus the new nine inch bikers. So here are the nine inch bikers in Aura. So when on, they don't feel too crazy long and you can definitely still pull them up. Like once you pull them in the cheeks in the back, it makes it a little bit shorter. Fit feels the same as my extra extra small leggings and flares. Like I really don't notice a size difference. They're very comfy. They do not roll because they go past like the thickest part of my thigh. Nine isn't too crazy once on. 7.5 probably would have been like, no actually on this part, probably like right here. Cause it is again, rolled up in the back a little bit to go in the cheeks more. This is the color smoke. It'll be coming in in four or five colors. So smoke is a little sheer when stretched. So if you have a tattoo or you're wearing like neon pink or black underwear, you might slightly see it. But I think with a new thong, you're gonna be perfectly fine. Definitely, I feel like I would work out in these. One, it's still not sweat wicking material. Oh, my hair's in the way. And I feel like they're still, like the waistband is staying put quite well. I will have to probably pull it up a little bit during my workout. They're obviously not as flattering as like Amplify Bikers because that has scrunch, but I feel like these are still much more flattering than the leggings, the shorts, because I just feel like biker length, you're able to get that extra fabric right here, which I feel like just kind of enhance the glutes. We've got the curved seam on both sides. Little silicone logo right here. No front seam, so I'm not getting any camel issues, but I do get the V, but honestly not that bad. I usually get it really bad in seamless leggings, and I feel like I'm, it's not terrible in these. And again, even though these are an extra, extra small, really stretchy, they don't feel super snug, because again, it's just the material, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the bikers. I personally like these so much more than the five inch. And I'm, again, I'm just really glad we finally got some inseam options. Now we will move into bras. 
So we have the new Aura Sculpt will be coming in white, smoke, glacial lake, arctic sky, oak, and black. Buttery soft and feel high stretch. Darts for shape. That's what they're called. Darts. Darts for shaping and better fit. Cup size A, B. So again, it is low support. I am really bummed that we really don't have a bra in this drop and in honestly any of the drops lately for people who are larger chested the bras have been low support so i really think we need to work on, on having more options for people who are larger chested and need more support in a bra i feel like yeah we've definitely been lacking in that yeah so no changes the only thing i noticed is that for some reason we have the darts on the outside and the inside which is the same as my aster however for some reason my out my inside ones have been sewn into and this could be maybe an error in the manufacturer but it was sewn into like on the inside like double sewn so if i try to put my own bra pad in there it folds because it it's got like like this part is literally you can't move it like it's sewn in there and again i'm hoping this is just mine and not how they've changed it because you cannot get a seamless look when you put a bra pad in because you've got this in the way so then it bunches up because this is in the way and it's just freaking annoying because i'm someone where i need bra pads so i pop my own in there again how hard is it to add some cups i feel like we need cups we need adjustable straps we need options for people who are larger chested that's what i want to see come 2024 um they gave us the insert but they're like get your own but yeah that's the only thing i noticed and it is in both of my bras i believe the straps are still the same they're still 10 inches the straps look to be like 0.5 shorter like half an inch shorter not super noticeable like when i have it on like sorry that's my mom's dog i had to run and babies, I guess dogs sit her. And she's, I kind of, she's not having it. Um, sorry, Sasha. You're okay. Yeah, I just stopped the filming to go get her. But you're gonna hear her little toe taps in the background. It's okay, you get to go home soon. So yeah, straps, but when on, the straps feel normal. They don't feel like it's any more loose or tighter. Do you want to say hi? See little grandma. How old are you now? Thir 11? 12? You're so poor baby. She's stressed. Okay, so here is the Aura Sculpt Bra in Smoke, extra small. Does not have removable cups, however, it does have the cup insert. It's got this seam right here on the inside or on the outside and inside. Um, one thing I don't like, which I will show again in a clip, is that the inside part is like sewn. So when you try and put your own cup in there, it just kind of like bunches up. Like you can you see it like it bunches up and sits really weird. So I don't like that design. <laughs> yeah, but fit is the same as last launch. Again, I'll pop in measurements of the Aura Sculpt. Uh, 10 inches from the straps to the bottom, which I believe is the same as my Aster. And then the back looks like this. We've got the minimal 3D silicone logo. So you can't even really notice, which I really like. I love a minimal look. Material is buttery soft, second skin feel, kind of a hybrid of Buff Bunny, Nubri, and butter. Soft as fabric, Alphalete has definitely done. I would say this bra is true to size. I don't feel like I need to size up or size down. I am smaller chested though, so if you are larger up top, sizing up might help, um, especially with like the straps, because if the straps are a little too snug, I feel like this part might raise a little bit and then give under boob. I still really love the fit. One of my favorite Alphalete bra. Next we have the Aura Strappy Longline bra. There hasn't been any tweaks to this one. It's the exact same. It's long line, doesn't have removable cups, but it has the insert. The I did size down to an extra, extra small this launch though, because it just kind of like, the straps were a little bit, like these ones longer than I would like, so I feel like the bra sat low on me. 
but even when sizing down i feel like it really didn't change that much it just kind of like made this area tighter so this is the difference oh the extra small is also a little bit longer so this is length difference difference that's the width difference I like extra small and extra extra small. I can do either one. I feel like sizing in this is pretty lenient. I like that it has a little bit more coverage. The straps right here do not move when I work out. They stay put pretty well. Um, I pop my own cups in and it looks seamless. A thin band down here at the bottom. The Alphalete silicone logo right here. So a minimal design. Still low support. So this comes in white smoke glacial lake arctic sky and then the aura storm print and black here is the long line strappy bra again i sized down to an extra extra small this drop and i feel like size difference really isn't that noticeable uh maybe a little bit more snug but again not unbearable good long line option i wear my crayon all the time the straps in the back fit really nice i would say true to size in this like my extra small fit me snug as well my extra, extra small fits me good i don't think i could do a small though um it doesn't have cups but it does have the insert so i did put some in there it's got the logo the back so it has five straps going across and then the two that cross over right here nothing feels like it's digging in it's really comfortable and when working out in this doesn't move like i feel like for me personally it stays put i don't feel like these get twisted i have the aura three strap bra which hopefully is not a replacement to the minimal strap bra because it is a little bit different which we will go over um there is the aura glacier print the blizzard print storm print white smoke sunset arctic sky oak black fire and black again very low support um, kind of the same as the long line, but just a little bit shorter because the minimal one before had adjustable straps and two straps in the back that crossed over, whereas this has three straps that just go straight across in the back. And as you can see, the straps are no longer adjustable. So that right there has me really confused as to why they would kind of go backwards. Like, why take away a feature that a lot of people like? Like I like having the option to make something tighter or loose, more loose if it doesn't work. Here is Sunrise, which again is the really nice orange. I got extra small in both. I only got two. I would say it fits pretty much the same as my minimal. <clears throat> the straps just can't get tighter, whereas the minimal one could because this is the minimal. There's also more curve on this one at the bottom, I feel like. And again, adjustable straps that cross over and then two straps that cross over on the back right here. Um, I feel like this has a little bit more coverage than the minimal one. So I would say you can stick to whatever size you got in the bras. Last launch, this launch as well. I did extra small in both. I feel like they feel very similar. I will say I feel like the straps will get a little bit twisted in this one more so than the long line. I also got it in the glacier print so it's like this dark green mixed in with a lighter green the inside is the light green again you can put removable cups in here they've got the insert but this is the back so here's the new strappy bra um again a little bit different from the minimal strappy bra the straps were adjustable this is an extra small i definitely prefer the other fit being honest I like being able to adjust the straps to kind of pull this up a little bit more because I feel like I could pull this quite low and have like my boobs fall out. Um, I would say fit though, like right here, feels the same as my other one. Uh, true to size, I don't feel like I need to size up or size down. However, I am smaller chested, so if you are larger chested, definitely size up because I feel like you're gonna have a lot of under boob in this bra. Very, very low support. And I feel like even lower support now that they're not even adjustable. No removable cups, but again, it has the cup insert. 3D silicone minimal logo. Doesn't have the curve right here. So it just kind of goes straight now. And then the back straps cross over and then you've got three straps going straight across right here. Whereas before there was only two straps right here that crossed and then these straps were adjustable. 
So and then we have the Aura Shrugs the Blizzard Print, White, Smoke, Glacial Lake, Oak, and Black. And I get an extra small for a more fitted feel. Glacier Lake has thumb holes. Um, I just prefer the extra small. I can do extra small or small, but I feel like the extra small, the sleeves are a little bit more fitted um, and nothing's digging in. It's very comfy. I feel like this isn't as baggy in an extra small versus a small, so I just prefer to go with that size. But again, I feel like sizing is really lenient in this shrug. Got it in oak. I believe I got it in every color except for white and black. And again, it's one of the shrug boleros that goes across your neck. It's the same buttery soft aura material, thumb holes. And then here is the blizzard print. A funny one has a longer back, so it has a little bit more coverage. And then here is the blizzard bandeau, extra small. Again, the silicone grip just is not good quality at all like it doesn't do anything it's definitely not like the crop shop boutique one and then there's no thick band under here for extra support it's a thin little band very flimsy the back is thin as well it's got a curved detail so when you have it on sometimes it kind of like rolls to basically become straight minimal logoing uh i just wanted to get it again to see if there had been any changes there have not been any Changes, updated fit in this. Still has no removable cups, but it does have the slit. So here is the bandeau. So again, no changes have been made to this bra. It still slides down. Again, I wish there was like a thick band right here and then a better grip. I feel like that would have helped a lot. This is the Aura Blizzard print. I do really like the bra, like the print on the bra and the shrug. I'll probably just pair it with like a solid purple legging. We have the retro crop jacket, fully lined retro fit, cropped length, mock neck collar, white, smoke, oak, and black. So pricing, I'll have pricing on the screen as well because we did find that info out. This is without a code, $70 with a code 63 i got a size small and i got the white so it has white black and orange so paired with sunrise it is really cute but realistically how often am i going to wear this jacket it's thin it doesn't have pockets and it's like something that's going to be a little tricky to pair with so i just don't find it worth the price point at all I feel like I personally would only spend 30 to 40 on a jacket like this. Don't get me wrong, it's cute, it's cool, but would I spend my own money on it? Most likely, no, just because again, how often am I going to wear this? It's not super thick, it's not like it's going to keep me warm. For me personally, I just would rather spend $63 on a jacket I can wear time and time again uh but again it all comes down to preference so it is cropped this is a small it hits right above my hip bones full zip and then has this like collar logo right here again windbreaker material mesh inside back looks like that it's got the cuff sleeves and also one thing that really annoys me that would keep me from spending my own money. Like I hate when jackets like tug and pull and then go short. Like I don't like that. It's one of my biggest pet peeves with jackets. So that would bother me a lot. Rip joggers. I did not get the hoodie, but it's double brush fleece inside, drop shoulder style, puff print branding at front side and hood. Spacious kangaroo pocket, ivory blue and black. And then these script joggers, double brush fleece inside, cuffed bottom hem opening, puff branding inside leg. I got the blue, it comes in three colors. I got a size small. I definitely probably could have done a medium because I feel like I like it a little bit baggier on my legs. I also prefer a straight leg. I really wish these were straight legs. I feel like I gravitate and wear those more than a jogger, especially if I'm wearing these to the gym with shorts underneath. I'd be falling and tripping trying to take these off because they don't go where my shoe wears straight leg is so much easier. So then I just end up 
embarrassing myself in the gym. It's got the cuff. I'll measure the inseam real quick, but it's got drawstring, elastic. It is soft fleece inside. Very similar to the Origin pant. I feel like it's the slightest bit thicker, but again, not much. It's still not a crazy thick jogger like Lazuli, but I do feel like it's a little bit better than what Origin has been. I mean, even the pocket feels better. Like the other ones that I have of the Origin pant jogger, the inside pocket was like this cheap linen feeling pocket and this is much softer. And then it's got the Alphalete puff paint logo in white size small um i probably could have done a medium if i wanted my quad area a little bit baggier but the small works fine um i like the length they're hitting really nice material feels pretty similar to the origin pant that soft fleece inside i feel like it's maybe slightly thicker bit i prefer straight legs i really wish this came in a straight leg i, I like having the free the ankle you know i like having that extra room versus it being tighter right here but i do like this color this was my favorite color out of all this 3d print inside these are unisex okay so i just went and measured and my smalls were 31 and a half inseam if you're taller than i like i'm 5'4 so if you're quite tall i would size up to give a little bit of extra length Again, I just wish these were straight leg. Yeah, that is everything dropping Saturday at 12 p.m. CST. Again, I'm not, hopefully my code will still work. Code Bailey will save you 10% and it does help support me. And make sure to screenshot if you do use it to enter my giveaway for January. Again, I cannot say thank you enough for the support. Hopefully I answered everything. Sorry, I feel like I've been really distracted today and I've had a lot of things going on. And so I feel like I probably forgot to mention some stuff. So if you have any questions that I did not address in this video, please feel free to comment them down below. Send me a DM. I'll definitely be doing a Q&A before launch. Really, really hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.